Are you a working professional and as well as a CSIR net aspirant? And are you wondering if you have to leave your job to prepare for the exam? Well, you don't have to necessarily do that. And that is what we are going to talk about today as well. Today, we are going to see how to prepare for CSIR net while in a job. And I'm Dr. Vaishali, Academic Specialist at Biotechnica. Biotechnica is a space where we guide you in anything and everything regarding your bioscience career. Come, let's explore the topic. So the first point or the first tip that I have for all of you out there, all the working professionals out there is first understand what the exam is, right? First understand the pattern of the exam paper and the syllabus as well. So if you are able to concentrate on these two, if you're able to understand what is the pattern, what is the syllabus, what are the previous year questions and everything, then you have an idea as to what the exam is and you know where to focus and how to focus. So that is the first step that I have, have for you guys is to understand about the exam in the first place. Second tip that I have for you is the time. Right. So obviously, if you are a working professional, then time is your biggest enemy. Right. So you don't have the time, you know, sufficient time to prepare for the exam. But remember this, nothing is impossible. Definitely manage your time if you are able to effectively manage it. Right. So first is how do you manage your time while you're working. First is dedicate time for studies, right? Don't have an haphazard, uh, you know, way of studying. Have, you know, certain number of hours per day or per week dedicated for your studies and make sure that you stick to it because you need to be accountable to yourself because this is going to be a long journey and you need to be accountable for yourself. And consistency is the key in this case, especially when you're working and when time is your enemy then you need to be consistent it's not just one or two days but it is a battle of months together right so you need to be consistent about you know how many hours you're spending in studying the third tip that i have for all of you is to create a schedule and stick to it Right. So, yes, it is necessary for you to stick to the schedule that you've created. So first sit down and create a schedule. See what your working hours are and when will you get time for your studies. Right. And make a schedule and make sure that you stick to it. That is more important. Like we just discussed, right? Consistency is the key. So even in the schedule, even in you following a particular schedule, consistency is the key. So it helps you to be organized and focused about your studies. It's not going to be haphazard. It's not going to be all over the place. It's going to be organized and you will be focused upon, you know, the studies. The fourth point that have, I have for all of you is to look at the previous year papers, right? Now, why is this important? So we already saw the importance of understanding the exam in the first place and previous year question papers are also a way to understand the exam. What is the trend that is being followed? What is the topic that is important? What can you skip and what can you concentrate more on, right? So previous year papers are going to help you in that particular sense right so first you need to you know practice the mock tests okay there are multiple tests that are available at biotechnica itself you can uh, you know check the description below in the link and you can enroll yourself in any of these mock tests so that you can test yourself as to where you stand right so it's not just about preparation it's also about practicing what or implementing whatever you've studied so that is also very important especially Especially when it comes to competitive exams. The second is about understanding the exam. So 
So these previous year question papers are going to give you a fair bit of idea about what the exam is going to be, how the questions might come and how should you tackle such questions, right? So to understand about the exam, it's necessary for you to go through the previous year question papers. It also helps you to identify your strength and weakness, right? So if you're looking at the questions or if you're solving the questions, you know what your strength is, what your weakness is. You know, you can uh, strengthen upon what you already already know and you can work upon your weakness so that you do not lack you know uh, anything uh, when it comes to CSIR net. The fifth tip that I have for all of you is to have a study group. Now it could be a study group, it could be a tuition or it could even be a study partner, right? So how is this going to help? So having a study group helps you to discuss and to practice the questions, right? So if at all some concept is not clear for you, you can always go back to your study group or to your mentors or your experts and they will help you in clearing those doubts for you. It helps you to stay motivated and it makes you accountable right so having a study group you don't have to be just accountable to yourself but also to your study group right so biotechnica is one such platform that gives you you know ample uh, resources and uh, you know ample uh, experience it comes with very high experienced experts who will guide you and who knows in and out about CSIR net and they will guide you about what you need to study how you need to study what are the concepts and all of that so yes Biotechnica is a place we have coaching classes that's going on for CSIR net and Drona batch has just started you can pay as low as just rupees 4000 and you can get a one year subscription do check out the link below in the description box for more details yeah. What is our sixth point, right? So we have seen five tips till now, and now we are going to go ahead for our sixth tip. The tip is nothing but online resources, right? So these days, everything is available online and it's up to you as to what material you must consume. So it's important that you do not look at all the materials, but then you choose one material and you stick to it, right? So you have multiple video lectures. You can go uh, with study guides. You can go with practice questions that's available online. And Biotechnica also has n number of online resources that you can, that can aid you in your CSIR net preparation. Right. So after the online resources, the seventh tip that I have for all the working professionals out there is your lifestyle. Right. So in between your work pressure and your study focus, you might not, you know, take care of your lifestyle. And that will definitely hamper both your work as well as your studies. And that is something that you should not let happen right so it's important for you to take care of your physical and your mental well-being right so if you talk about lifestyle it's nothing but your you know adequate sleep because sleep is necessary for you to stay focused during the daytime it helps you to uh, you know take out the toxins from your body and so does exercise right so exercising and sweating out is going to remove all those toxins from your body and it's going to keep you more focused and more motivated about whatever you're doing whether it's studies or your work right so that's how it's going to help and as well as your food so you need to it's very important for you to eat healthy right junk it's not the time for junk food it's important for you to stay healthy so that's for the lifestyle. The eighth point that I have for all of you is the study pattern, right? So how should you go about studying for the CSIR net examination? So one is do not take all the topics at once. Do not be all over the place. You need to make sure that you break the topics, the syllabus into smaller and manageable topics, right? Because CSIR net syllabus is quite vast and if you are starting in between anywhere and then you're going all around the place then you will not be able to finish the syllabus you will not be studying what is necessary so it's important for you to first break the topics down into smaller and manageable topics and then you need to focus on one topic at a time and make sure you finish that topic and then go back to questions on the topic try to see and uh, see whether you're able to answer those questions if at all you're missing something go back to study 
you know, cover those topics and then come back, right? So this is how you need to, uh, you know, manage your study pattern. The ninth tip that I have for you is seek help. If at all you are, you know, you're not uh, having clarity about a concept, then do not hesitate. Go ahead and seek help, right? So you can take help from your study group. You can take help from online sources or you can also have tutors and experts who can guide you about what is important, what is not important and how to, you know, get your concept cleared or clarified right so biotechnica has n number of these tutors and you can seek help from biotechnica as well now the 10th point and the last point that i have for you is about your attitude right stay positive that's more important because it's you know very easy for you to get discouraged especially if you're working you don't have time you know uh, you're just coming back and studying you don't find enough time to study enough you know you you're already tired of working and then you come back and study right so that is going to be very difficult and if at all you don't perform well in your mock test or your practice uh, questions then you you know, it's, it's very common for you to get demotivated, but it's important for you to remember that to not get discouraged by these things because, you know, it's it's with time and effort that you're going to excel in whatever you're studying, whatever you're doing. So give it enough time, put in your effort, be consistent, be persistent and go ahead and prepare for this exam. Stay with a positive mindset, a positive attitude and that is what is going to help you in acing this exam, right? So I'm here to wish you all all the very best for your preparation. Biotechnica is always with you during your preparation. Thank you so much and see you all until next video.